What's up everyone, it's Trey Thousand GT, just making another quick video. Here with the Nike Air Zoom Vapor 3 from 2006. This was Jeff Flake's uh, shoe. I wouldn't, I don't know if I would call it a signature shoe, but this is what he wore on the, uh, the tennis court. Very, very nice looking shoe. I'd say this is the best looking Vapor out of the, uh, the entire line which is why I was collecting it. Uh, I sold them off because I really didn't wear them that much. But uh, this is actually the last shoe that I have. Um, if you, fit-wise, these fit a little snug, so I would go a half size to actually a full size up. This is a size 13 and it actually fits me. I'm 11 and a half, 12, really a 12. Um, and a 13 fits me, it's a little, Actually, let's see. Now keep in mind, I'm a 13. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm a 12. And my toe comes right there. But they look good. So, these pairs are hard to come by now because, I mean, nobody really collected them. There are some people that did, but the majority, I mean, everybody else collects uh, Dunks and Jordans and every shoe that's limited edition. And most people just wear these to play tennis. So most people are not collecting them. Although I've seen some collections of these online. I've never met <coughs> anybody that actually collected them, so. But I like the material that they use for this. And just the look, it's a very, it's, it's an original design. I mean, I don't know any shoe that it ta it's taking cues from. This shoe retails for, let me see. It doesn't say, I believe it was uh, $120, I could be wrong. Uh, and like I said, it came out in 06, got the Zoom Air. And it's a very unique looking shoe. I think Nike did a good job with this. And uh, yeah, pairs are very hard to, you know, to come by now. I've seen some pairs selling for maybe, you know, it depends, sixty dollars up to a hundred and twenty. Because, like I said, this is the more desirable look, performance-wise. Gives you a uh, a good feel, like you can really feel the ground, um, but it's got. You know, so it's got a, a really stiff uh, midsole, but you know, you I guess when you know when you're playing tennis, you want to have you want to be able to move and feel the ground, and you know, but also have some protection. And this shoe gives that to you. Although, if I was going to go for uh, a, a vapor shoe based only on performance, I'd probably go for the. Uh, I believe it's the, uh, the Zoom Vapor 5 in the black colorway. I like that. But anyway, uh, thank you for looking at my video and uh, stay tuned for more.